Hello mga friendships! Welcome to my channel. It's me again, Yola M. And I am back for another entertainment. At dahil may COVID pandemic tayo ngayon, nagiging hot topic na ang online selling at saka yung online job. So for today's video, I will discuss yung mga pros and cons in working online. So disclaimer lamang po, yung lahat ng i-discuss ko dito ay based sa personal experience ko. So quick intro about myself, I work as a virtual assistant for 5 years na. And when we say virtual assistant, these are people na nagpro-provide ng mga administrative services outside the client's office. So for 5 years, nag-work ako online at the comfort of my home. So if I feel like working uh, sa sala, then pwede naman. If I wanted to work naman sa kwarto, then it's fine. So you have the privilege to work home-based. Okay, so let's start with the cons in working online. So first, let us talk about stability. So most of the online jobs, hindi talaga sila nagpro-provide ng stable income or stable work. Bakit? Because mostly sa mga businesses ay nagde-depend lang sila sa profit. So if for example ngayon, what if yung business ng client mo is hindi talaga siya nag-work? Meaning, wala kayong sales. So, may possibility na tatanggalin ka for a while kasi walang income yung business. Another reason. So, for example, you are working in a client or in a business. And then, you have a lot of mistakes kasi syempre ang tao nagkakamali naman. So, hindi talaga maiiwasan na you will commit errors in your work. So, what if yung client mo is naiinis na sa lahat ng mga mistakes na nagawa mo? So, anytime pwede kang tanggalin. So, that is one of the cons in working online. So, if you really want to jump on this industry, you need to be ready na just in case... Uh, mawalan ka ng trabaho or mawalan ka ng income. But, the bright side is, if ever man na establish ka na sa industry ito, you have a lot of references, you have a lot of experiences, eh madali ka naman makahanap ng another client or another job kung hindi ka talaga susuko sa pag-job hunting. Okay, so the second cons in working online is that may possibility na hindi ka mabayaran sa service na nirender mo. Yes, even sa employment, meron pa mga scammers. Oh my God! Yeah! So in my five years of working online, I think may na-encounter ako na client, I think dalawa sila, na hindi nakapagbayad sa akin. So, when you find a client or a job, it's now or never. So, what I do is that I always opt for clients na nag-a-agree na mag-pay in weekly basis. Kasi, so for example, ipagpalagay natin na ang client is hindi talaga siya magbabayad. So, at least, one week lang yung natrabaho mo sa kanya. Although, masakit, pero, at least, if masasabi natin one week, yung span ng time is just short. So, move on, move on na lang if ever man na makatagpo kayo ng client na hindi talaga magbabayad. Third one is, walang feel health, SSS, and other benefits. So, since your clients are from overseas, hindi sila familiar sa mga PhilHealth, SSS, and other benefits dito sa Philippines. So, hindi naman siya talaga malaking problema kasi you can voluntarily pay your remittances and your bills. So, unlike sa mga companies dito sa Philippines like sa mga call centers, sa mga banko, and other companies, 
is yung yung pay nyo is yun na yung take home pay nyo. Bale, na-deduct na dun yung PhilHealth, SSS, pag-ibig, at saka ibang benefits. Pero, dito sa online job, yung makukuha mo talaga is yung buong pay mo. So, let's say yung agreement ninyo ni client is 25,000 monthly. So, yung ihulog niya sa bank account mo is talaga yung buong pay. Walang deduction kasi hindi sila nagbabayad ng PhilHealth, SSS and benefits ng kanilang mga employees. The fourth one. So, when you are going to plan to work online, you need to provide your own tools. So, huwag kayong pupunta ng gera kung wala kayong bitbit. So, when you decide to work online and find a client, you need to provide your own computer or your own laptop. So, hindi naman talaga mandatory na you would complete everything. Just like when we say you need to provide a webcam, a noise cancellation headset, and everything. Hindi naman talaga siya needed na uh, i-complete mo lahat ng set kasi... If ever you want to only apply for non-voice jobs, eh hindi naman talaga necessary yung webcam and headset. Fifth one is competition. Yes, sa industry ito marami nang nag-aim that they wanted to work online. I remember before nung nagsa-start pa lang ako, um kung gusto ko makahanap ng another side job or another client, eh mas, I think in one to two weeks time, makakakita na ako. Pero right now, yung competition is very tight. And if wala kang um, vital experience about the job, um, it would be very difficult for you to get one. So, In order for you to survive in the competition, dapat meron kayong experience. So, meron namang mga online online schools, online tutorials na pinoprovide. Even sa Facebook, marami na sila for you to be equipped and for you to be able to work online. Okay, so those are the five cons in working online. So, now we are done with the cons. Let's proceed to the pros in working online. For sure, maraming nag-aabang nito. Okay. So, first, what you get in working online. So, you can work at the comfort of your home. So, in my experience, I always set my alarm 6 a.m. So, by 6 a.m., I usually wrap myself and prepare for work. Pero, I work in my pajamas. And, I work while I drink my coffee or eat my breakfast. And then, yung home-based or online job is very ideal or beneficial sa mga nanay. Because if you want to spend time with your family and even with your kids, it's very possible because nasa bahay lang naman kay. Next is flexible time. So, yan yung na-mention ko doon sa number one. So, I always go to clients na nag a ng flexible time because for me, hindi ko naman talaga alam if ano yung comfortable time ko of the day when I start work. Next is multiple income. Yes, multiple income. Kasi if ever mag-work kayo dito sa Philippines, mostly yung time or work schedule nyo is from 8 to 5 p.m. So, it would be possible impossible for you to find another job. One eternity later. The last one, yung pinaka hinihintay nyo is you earn dollars. Yes. Dollars yung ina-earn mo if you work online. I agree na if you are going to work online, mas malaki yung income mo dito. And then, provided pa na pwede ka pang maka, makakita ng part-time job, so it's very uh, great opportunity if you really want to find a high-paying job. 
okay so those are the pros and cons in working online so it's my own experience guys and that's it friendships thank you so much please don't forget to watch my videos like and subscribe so see you on my next vlog have a great day